Hello, Lynette here with Bells Uniques in Australia and welcome to my channel. I have had quite a lot of people ask me how I do the cover of my dragon journals. So I'm going to attempt to show you how I do it. Um, I'm not very good on the video. I'm new to YouTube. So bear with me and we'll see how we go. So we're going to look at the beginning process of how I do these beautiful dragon covers with all the texture and everything. It might be a few videos, but we're going to start today. So first of all, I start off with a cereal box. It's just any cereal box and I've popped it together and I've used on the inside a um, paper towelette and the roll, just half the roll. So I've started already by putting uh, lunch paper, which is, sorry, baking paper, um, down on the bottom, on the, on top of it. And what I do is I get it and I just scrunch it up. And then I unscrunch it. And then I get just PVA glue. And pour a bit on. We use a lot of glue in this, but this also helps seal the eggshells and that later. So that's um, really good. So I just pop some glue down and get the paper in and I just sort of scrunch it on to give it texture. So this is the very underlay texture, the underneath texture of the eggshells and what you see in here. Because I don't cover the whole thing with eggshell. I quite like that there's the two different textures. So this is all just the, the paper. And on the back here, this is paper, which is what we're doing now. And this part's the eggshell. So I just, as we said, scrunch it in and then I just sort of push it in, sort of move it around a bit going to pull this part up put a bit more and I do have my brush sitting in a jar of water it just helps to sort of thin the glue out a little bit instead of buying Mod Podge and um, just helps it spread a bit a little bit easier but I, I find Mod Podge quite expensive and I know it's just, well, I'm pretty sure it's just watered down PVA. So that, that's basically what I do for my first layer. I quite like to have a little bit of the edge sort of hanging off. I don't like it to be perfect and straight. So you can see here there's the... Um, I'll just check that you can see here is the the cardboard and then we've got a little bit of extra coming over the edge so that's the paper that we've just put down and oh, I like it like that that's gives it that little bit more interest but this is you know the very first layer so we can sort of change it up later if we feel like it. I am using a big bottle. I should use the smaller one. <laughs> oh. As I said, I'm very new to all of this and never ever thought I'd have a YouTube channel or be selling anything on Etsy. So it's been a very exciting journey. Okay, so that's basically what we do. I don't want to spend 
too much time sort of fussing like I'm going to go in and fix those that little hole there and so I'll just get little bits then and use this smaller bottle and then just sort of fix up that hole and it can get a little bit wet um, but it's all part of the process so what I would then do next is um, place my eye on where I'd like it now because I'm only using my phone I'm sorry it's probably going to look upside down um, but that's what I have to work with so what I do with my eye let's make sure we don't sit that in the glue is I pop it about a third of the way down and I sort of like to put it on a bit of an angle as if he's sort of turning his head to the side so I've got this beautiful blue eye which I actually I thought I got them off Etsy but I actually got them off eBay in Australia so I'm probably going to pop it about there maybe in just a little bit and I'm just going to use fabric glue to put that on just a little bit there and place that on there so that's probably going to get a bit of glue and that on it later a little bit of paint and I just use a cotton tip to wipe it off later now I've made a couple of the bookends is that what you call them these little bits here and it's just out of cardboard another piece of cereal box I've just put two pieces together and then I'm just going to glue them in place around there roughly I, I don't measure anything I'm shocking at maths my husband's a bit of a mathematician a nurse but he's very good at numbers and I am not so I'm just going to pop that there and there roughly and then I will also put some texture on top of that so that we've got the because that glue is a bit wet that's just going to sit up for a little while so we'll just sort of let that dry and then mush it in a little bit later So we'll put the texture on top of these little bits. It's a bit weird talking while I'm doing it. <laughs> Normally I would be watching a show <laughs> in the background. And I like to sort of show a little bit of the edge there. And just pop this one on top so these dragon journals are fun to make they are it can be quite a long process but it is very fun and each one is always quite different because it's just such a unique little sort of process they're all um, you know there's there's different ripples and lines and it's all very different with each one which I love so they really are unique little journals in the sense that one's never going to be the same as the other so that's on pretty well so then what we do is get some tissue paper and I've only got a tiny bit left but um, we build up around the eye so and this is where it does get extremely unique and different around the eye because 
I mean the eye is the, the stand out obviously but the shape of the eye can be quite different but this is the way I've been doing doing them and quite enjoy it I did originally get a um, a picture of one that I had a look at when I first started doing it and I just went from that so I've just glued and I sort of just roll it and then I don't know if you can really see and then just sort of place it in that sort of shape I always have baby wipes near me because I'm very messy and I do just use my fingers for everything so I like to sort of put like a little bit of a hood there over the eye just to give it that little bit of depth and we'll get some more tissue paper Just some more glue and then this next one I sort of roll it a bit tighter and then just sort of curve it in around the eye and I'm even going to put a bit of glue down the bottom actually I normally do it there too which I didn't do so that might be why it was coming back up and I will get a this is actually a clay pokey thing which I you know poke the holes in for the journals but um, I quite often use this end to move things around with this and sort of shape it and then we're going to put this one in around here and I, I sort of like to I don't know if you can see properly I'll try and move my hands um, sort of bring this in a little bit closer because with the eyes you never actually see the full round eye you've always got a little piece of the top and, and the bottom generally both um, sort of covered up a bit so so that's the start of my dragon eye so then I just build that up and get it into a shape that I'm happy with and then we start the next process which I'll show you a little bit over here so I just get more glue and as I said I don't put eggshell everywhere now the eggshells they have been washed in soapy water and then that membrane has been pulled out and then they have also been then washed again Oop, that little bit there is has got a little bit left on it so you can see that bit of membrane but if you wet that then it'll just come back off so we won't use that one um, and then I basically get it and just put it in place like that and just put it anywhere you want so and it, it's messy <laughs> and it's fiddly but I love the end result and I did see someone do something like this on YouTube and that's where I got the idea and then I just sort of did it all my own style and this is what I've come up with so 
so you can look I try not to be too particular I get a little bit more fussy around the eye but generally I will just get a piece of shell and I've got a little stash now <laughs> break a little bit and just sit it down put it in there and try not to touch it all too much because you've got glue on your fingers and it's just going to come back up so once it's par dry, partially dry or dried that's when I will get my glue and I seriously I will run over it like this and I'll be very gentle because it's not um, dry now it's not all stuck and then I will move the glue into it and all over the shell and we're going down in the cracks there so by the time we're finished because I will do two or three coats of like this over top this is fully sealed there is no bugs or anything getting out of this and they've already been washed and pre-washed again so you know and this also see here we go I've done too much because it's not it's not glue it's not stuck on yet so that's what I do once it has dried and you'll get bits that are sticking up a bit so <clears throat> sometimes I'll come along with the end of the brush and just push it down otherwise sometimes you can just go over it again and all this glue is going to seep right in and seal it all and then when it's all dry I'll go over it and do it again so this one here I have given three glues okay it's been glued three times so that's what I've ended up doing as you can see I wonder if I turn it this way it won't be upside down hopefully um, I've got my eye and I've got the shape all around it I've got little bits that I've actually crushed up and put in here I've got the layers of the tissue paper that come up a little bit so that there's depth and um, definition so I sort of like to do it so that there's a little bit of a line that way and you know later on once I paint it I might decide I might want a little bit more texture down there once I've done a first paint but it's this is probably fine the way it is and then I might um, tuck these in just a little bit more later on it just sort of it just goes as I do it <laughs> if that makes sense so this little um, piece here, I'm stuck on the paper now, I'll just move these. Now in here, this little piece, I'll just make sure it can be seen, um, is sort of sticking up a little bit. Just under there I'm under my thumb so I'm just gonna push it down and it's soft now it's not hard at all it's not going I mean it's cracked but it's not going to crack off and then I'm going to put a little bit more glue on that to just sort of push it down because otherwise it feels a little bit sharp so I, I do sort of check that sort of thing but gen and see these bits here they were um, they were sticking up as well so i've just popped them down pushed them down a little bit so i'm just going to glue over this 
around the eye once more and then this one will be ready for paint and this one is on order to be painted purple which is a bit exciting I love the color purple so so I'm just going to go over that that as, so that you know that's probably maybe three or four glues around that area I'm just going to pop that little bit down there what have I done with my glue and then you know you still get all this amazing texture but it's sealed in it's not sharp and it looks amazing now I've seen other people do it with stencils and um, uh, what do you call it the not clay but the paste and that's really cool as well so if you didn't want to use eggshells if you're vegan um, you can do it that way and make little tiles but um you know the eggshells are going to the rubbish anyway or going back into the land if that the chickens aren't fertilizing them and so i'm happy to use eggshells we get free range eggs from our neighbors which is amazing so we have that that would be the last glue so then I've got another one here that's also an order and this one's going to Germany. So this is ready to be painted. So now I would just do a full colour paint on it and be careful in around the eye as much as you sort of can. But as I said, I will get a cotton tip. That's what we call them in Australia. And then I'll just wipe the eye clean once I've you know got paint in that around it there's a little bit of loose shell there so that'll that'll come off when you're painting and then once the paint's dry then there's the next step so I will do that in another video maybe okay so that is the first steps to the base of my dragon journal. So as I said, I'll, I'll build this up a little bit more in around the eye and give it more definition and shape. And then I will place the eggs on top of it, eggshells on top of it with the glue under like I did here. And then let it dry and then I will glue over top again two or three times depending on what's needed and then for this one which is ready and set I am about to paint it so thank you for watching and I hope that that was helpful and see you in the next video thanks very much